This unassuming concrete shed at the University of the West Indies field station houses a green revolution. Vermiculture is the process of using specially bred earthworms to convert waste into humus. Unlike a hot compost heap, composting with worms is known as cool composting because it's done at a much lower temperature, below 30 degrees Celsius, and uses different worm species. So this is the African night crawler. This is the red wiggler. And this is Perionyx excavatus. The most used species locally, the African nightcrawler, is ideal for vermicomposting, says Micah Martin. It's well adapted to our local conditions, given its size, mm -hmm. right? This worm is a voracious eater, meaning that um, they consume a lot of organic waste and they do it very efficiently. Within three months, these worms break down kitchen waste, including cardboard. They will eat this unpainted part. Once it gets soft, run with the moisture inside it. And you'll have this layer remaining. And you'll just take it out of the system, basically. Composting with worms avoids the needless disposal of organic materials while enjoying the benefits of high-quality compost. Decomposed material excreted by the earthworm is called worm humus or worm castings, completely organic and highly nutritious as a natural fertilizer which improves health of the soil and plants. You actually feed in your soil. Your soil has microbes in it, so when you add these materials to your soil, it replenishes the microbes that are there so that they could keep feeding and keep releasing nutrients in, in your soil. What you'll find with the worm castings is that it is much more fine than the compost in terms of its particle size. It's much more refined. Mm -hmm. And that is also testimony of the quality in terms of the nutrients in it. Because you will have a much finer product and therefore the nutrients in the organic material will become more readily available. And that is one of the things that makes vermicomposting so unique mm -hmm. in that you could use this as your organic fertilizer. This is a growing media developed using the compost that we generated here by just substituting the compost at about 25%, right? So from there, after the seeds were sown, we just apply water. Now an entrepreneur and CEO, Compost Inn is commercializing worm compost, helped by the Trinidad and Tobago Research and Development Impact Fund. A working worm farm is also available for gardeners and homeowners. After a three-month period, once it's at its maximum um, productivity, you could get up to about 50 pounds of material out of this. Or that is roughly like two pigtail buckets of worm castings. I'm Ian Wallace, keeping it green for TDT News.